Hi, Kaylee. This is Jim from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I am responding to your video post in regards to informed consent and specifically in your state of South Carolina. I, probably one of the things that really resonated to me were the questions that you asked at the end, and uh, you had discussed that you've been struggling to actually find information on informed consent laws in South Carolina. And uh, ask what what to do, do you do if the state doesn't have well defined consent laws, and then you followed up with and what do you do if they're hard to find? Well, um, in, in terms of what to do if they're hard to find, because this is really where I've I've had a problem. So the the when I was originally looking at informed consent, the the rules for it um, went to the North Carolina page, the NCBLPC, and just it was. It was a mess trying to get through it, but uh, I went back and I referenced the ACA Code of Ethics uh, just to get my head back straight, and uh, the, the first thing they say is that clients need adequate information about the counseling process and the counselor, and then it went into the, the types of information. So I, I took that information, I went to the website, and I just started plugging away, and still it really wasn't good. Um, so what I actually did, what I, I finally found success is when I went to Google and just typed in NCBLPC, informed consent, and voila, it, it popped up for me and uh, it gave me more information. So I, I, I think that's something that um, we just have to be very diligent about and it's it's been my biggest challenge so far is just trying to navigate a, a bureaucratic site and I... Don't don't want to be too unkind to them, but it it is what it is. But um, I, I I feel that um, we just have to be patient. We have to learn to navigate it. And worst comes to worst, we just need to either call up a, a practicing therapist and get some guidance from them. And obviously, the best source itself is just to go to whatever our, our governing state board is and talk to them directly and and get that information. Because you know, I've I've always believed in going straight to the horse's mouth first to to get what I need, and I, I think that's the best way to keep ourselves out of trouble. But otherwise, I really enjoyed your presentation, and um, I'm glad to hear that I'm not the only one struggling with uh, with dealing with the state website. So let's just keep supporting each other, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.